to my YouTube channel. I am so excited that you're here. My name is Atakshi and in today's video, I'm going over 10 different MacBook hacks to improve productivity or just make your life easier while you're using your MacBook. These don't just include MacBook hacks, but some of them also happen to be Chrome hacks. Additionally, a couple of these hacks are like customizing hacks, which I just included because I feel like everyone might not know that this was even possible on a MacBook. And I wanna make sure that everyone makes the most use out of their MacBook. And that's why I included it as part of the MacBook hacks. Also, this top that I'm wearing right now happens to be one of the tops that I will be putting out for my spring summer 2021 haul. If you guys all haven't watched my online shop with me already, check that out. I will link that right up here on the i button. I can't tell if it's on this side or this side, but it'll be up here somewhere. This exact shirt was on my Pinterest board and I was able to buy it and it came in and I'm finally wearing it. So this is a quick little sneak peek into the try on haul that's coming out very, very soon. That was all I wanted to say for the intro. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So I have my MacBook right over here. It's on my laptop riser. I will be looking at the camera and looking at my laptop. So we'll see how editing me decides to do it. So let's get right into the MacBook hacks. So the first MacBook hack I wanted to show you is how to customize your icons. If you are looking at my screen right now, you will see that my icon is actually in this rainbow shape. And the reason for that is I customized it. Basically, all I like to do is I like to go on Canva. Canva is my absolute favorite tool. You guys already know. I I do everything on Canva. Once I'm on Canva, I just like to go with logo. Okay, so once you search up logo, you have all of this options. Like let's say you wanna go with this option and you wanna make this your icon for whatever it is that, you're, that you have on your screen. I'm just gonna delete all this text because the text is way too small to be read, but I like this design. So what I'm going to do now is literally just download the image. But when I'm downloading, I wanna make sure that I download with a transparent background. So if you don't have the pro version, which I do have, and and you're not able to download it with a transparent background, you can also go right here onto remove.bg, which basically removes the background from your image and it gives you a transparent background. So once you do that, let me just download this. Okay, this is downloaded. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open it. I'm just gonna drag it and copy. And once you've copied the image onto your clipboard, you're just gonna click on whatever icon it is that you want and right click on it and click get info. Just click on this image right here on the all the way on the top left and just control V or command V and you have your new icon. All right, so this next MacBook hack is basically how to split screen your screen. It might be very obvious to some people, but it actually baffles me how many people don't know that you can split screen right on your MacBook and they're out here sizing it on their screen. And I wanna make sure that everyone knows how easy it is to split screen right on your MacBook. Essentially, all you wanna do is open up the windows that you have. So this is one of the windows that I want on the split screen. And then this is the second window. If your window is on full screen mode like this, you want to just scroll up and click on minimize right here. Minimize it so it's on this view. And then if you hold on to it, these options pop up and it says tile window to left of screen, tile window to right of screen, and you basically are able to put it on either direction. So I'm gonna put this to the left and put this to the right. And now you have your screen split screen. You can obviously put up whatever you want here. I just pulled up this icon, but you can drag it like this, you can drag it like that, and you're able to size it however you want. So the next hack I have for you guys is how you can link whatever website that you want right on your desktop. And what that essentially does is it makes it easier for you to access that website as soon as you open your laptop because it's right here on the desktop. I do that with my classes. So if I click any of these classes, it leads me to my course site on my canvas, but this is how you can do it very easily. So you just want to minimize your screen, whatever screen it is that you want to link, we just want to click on this lock button right here and just hold down and drag it right on here and once you do that you basically have your linked website right here and if i double click it it leads me right to the page that i link to this makes it really easy if you have like classes that you have to go to all the time or you can even put your zoom links right on the on desktop hack number 
number four is also another customizing hack but a lot of people also don't know this one so i wanted to make sure everyone knows macbook has this inbuilt thing called stickies and i have stickies open right here um these three are my stickies that i are that are actively in use right now if you want to use stickies in any way all you have to do is just open up stickies click on it and click file new note the default color is yellow and it's pretty ugly and also the font is also not that nice so you can customize the sticky note very easily just by going in color clicking whatever color you want i usually go with gray but there's like purple pink you know basically all the quest all the colors are right here and you can also change the font and bold underline italic bigger smaller you know basically everything right over here in fonts and you can my natural um, my default is helvetica i usually change it to helvetica new you know just make it pay whatever i wanted to say thanks for watching my youtube video and actually i'm gonna make it bold italic and make it so big, so much bigger and that is how you can use stickies to maximize your productivity i personally like to use my stickies to remember important dates so i have that right here on my desktop my youtube growth tracker and my to-do list so things i have to do for that day also i forgot to mention this but if you want to know how you can get this desktop that i have right here i will link it right up here because i made a whole video on how you can customize your desktop wallpaper um and that video basically goes into detail about how i got this desktop wallpaper so hack number five is actually one to save your macbook battery and save your macbook life i've discovered this very recently because i found out that my macbook was operating very slowly when it really should not be and what i'm going to show you is something called this activity monitor that basically tells you when all your windows are open and so to access your activity monitor what you want to do is you want to go into binder and applications all right so once you're in applications you just want to go into utilities and so my utilities is right here and in utilities there's something called activity monitor so just double click activity monitor and this tells you all the things that are open on your laptop currently all of these things are not quit and they're not really close right now which is absolutely insane because i don't remember opening any of these but these are the random things that stay open on your laptop and just take up all this power and energy so let's say i want to quit control center right all i have to do is i have to double click on control center click quit and the entire process for the control center will be terminated and you can see exactly how much memory each of these activities takes up on your laptop and that might be the reason why you have so many things operating slowly or things are just running and you don't even know what's running and activity monitor is a great way to figure out exactly what's happening on your laptop at any given moment and how you can potentially make it faster all right so this next hack is especially clutch if you have a macbook pro but you don't really have you don't have the very recent MacBook MacBook Pro where you have like the touch bar right on top and because of that emojis are not very accessible to me so I figured out a way and it's a shortcut on your keyboard that you can access the emoji keyboard at any given moment and all you have to do to open up the emoji keyboard is click command space control and that opens up your emoji keyboard so mine just naturally opens up to the bullets and stars one because I use this a lot but this is the emoji keyboard right here and it makes it a lot easier to just enter whatever emoji you want to any given moment all right so for this next hack this is something i found on tiktok actually i have found myself basically like taking a picture on my phone and then just emailing it to myself or messaging it to myself to put it on whatever document it is that i have open and this hack fixes it so easily literally to insert any kind of image and this is applicable on word google docs whatever it is all you have to do is go on this image thing right here and click take photo this is actually is like my iphone name and that already pops up so you can take photo and on your phone the camera app will open automatically which is super cool so if i take a picture let's say i'm taking a picture of like my screen and then you can just click use photo and it'll automatically show up on your laptop and you can even like mark it up with and edit it whatever you want to do so speaking of phone this next hack is actually super cool you can copy and paste directly from your phone to your macbook so for example let's say i wanted to copy certain text that's on my phone okay so let's say i just looked up macbook hacks on my phone and let's say i wanted to copy and paste this text you can go ahead and copy as you normally would on your phone and this is already in your clipboard and your clipboards are connected right so you can go right over here on your phone on your laptop right click and just click paste 
and it says pasting from Hitachi and it pasted the same exact thing. Another hack which I found really cool and I wanted to include it in my hacks video. All right, so now we're moving on to the more fun hacks which are all Chrome hacks. So all you wanna do is open up your Chrome and this is what my Chrome first sees. So the first hack is how to edit these shortcuts. Essentially what you wanna do is you wanna click right here on add shortcut and just call it whatever you want. So let's say I have my classes drive and you can pull up the url so i'm just going to open up my drive all right so this is my work url i'm just going to copy it and done and all of a sudden you have a shortcut right here and in order to edit each of these you can just click right here and click edit shortcut so this is just for my canvas i'm just going to call it canvas and you have your little shortcuts so this next hack on Chrome is really fun actually. Basically all you want to do is you want to open up let's say YouTube and any video that you're watching. So I'm just going to pull up one of my videos actually. You can install this extension called Picture in Picture and once you implement that your video shows up right over here so whenever you're on any other app like let's say i'm on canvas my video is playing right here in the corner i especially use this hack when i'm working on like an essay i just want some side entertainment i pull up any video or show that i'm watching right here on the side and i'm able to do both and last but not least this final hack is going to be how to group your tabs on chrome so let's say you have a bunch of tabs open. So what you're gonna do is when you have a lot of tabs open, you can go on any tab and just right click on it and click add tab to new group. And you can name this group shopping, for example, and I will make it this color. I can also add any other tab that I want within the group. So both of these tabs that are highlighted are my shopping tabs and if you want to close it you can just click here but the reason that this is such a great hack is because you can basically open up multiple tabs at once or if it seems too cluttered on your screen you can close all of them together all right guys so i think those were 10 or wait 11 macbook or chrome hacks that you could use today to help improve your productivity or just make the most use out of your macbook i really hope you enjoyed all of these tricks and if you did please 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 hit that like button in and comment down below whichever one was your favorite if you have any questions about any of these tricks or if you have another macbook tipper trick to share leave them in the comments below i think it would really be beneficial to both me and anyone else who's watching this video so i would absolutely love to hear what you guys have to say and of course don't forget to subscribe it makes me so happy i see this in every video but it literally makes me so happy when every single time whenever i get a new subscriber and i would love to have you guys join my family so just subscribe but yeah that's it for today's video so i'll see you guys in my next video bye